Hey, what's going on, Adalo community? It's Mario Flawless from Templar Design. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make an even better continuous audio player using Adalo. Let's jump right in. Today's request comes from Pushing Pandas. Uh, we've been talking about uh, the audio player and how we can make it like extremely seamless and, and like really streamlined. In a previous tutorial, I taught you guys how to create a continuous audio player like this one here, where if a user clicks the next button or the next button in the audio player, it would show an audio loader with the countdowns and lists and it would go and play the next song based on the the selection. Now I've made this a little bit easier and I've eliminated the need for a second screen. So let me show you. This uh I'm gonna, I'm going to show you the old way first and then I'm going to show you the new way. Okay. So this is uh an app I'm working on for a buddy of mine his name is Viewpoint. He's a Christian hip hop artist. So this is the way I show I've shown you previously. So like let's I'm gonna pick a song here. So if uh, I select this one, so now okay if I click the next button, it loads the song, plays the next song, and it works and it's great. You know it's not not all that bad. But I wanted to see if I could make this even better or maybe even a little faster. So what I did was I went ahead and I I eliminated. Like I said, the need for the second screen. So here's what I did. On the very top bar, I put a little headphone button. I'm sorry, a headphone icon. This headphone icon is going to be for what I like to call listen only mode for the app. So this is gonna be the new updated audio player that all is, uh, it can all be done with just one screen. So when a user clicks that, they're gonna be taken to the listen only mode screen so this is what i've got you see the audio player and the list of songs so first app bar left icon just goes back to the home screen nothing crazy the audio player i'm gonna have uh three hidden inputs behind a rectangle and i'll show you what each of these do all right so first thing that you want to put it down are your three inputs all right so we're gonna start with current song input with a default default value of one. This is gonna play song number one on the list. I guess before jumping into the inputs, I should explain how the database works for the songs. Uh, so songs here, we've got a song name, track number on album, order number. This is the one we wanna pay attention to, order number. Track number on the, on the album, that's, that's used for something else. You do not need this one, but you do need order number, okay? Order number is required. Artist names, if it's a single or album, that you don't need that, you don't need this. You do need the MP3 file. At minimum, you need the name, order number, and MP3 file. The rest, you do not need and are just for this specific use. Okay, so minimum, you need name, order number, MP3 file, okay? So now the order number, you see, I have, I have 19 songs and I have the order number set one through 19. All right, if I add another song, like if, if I were to add a second album and I have track number one on the second album, it's gonna be order number 20, but track number one. So that's why I said, we're gonna pay attention to the order number and do not worry about the track number. So keep them in order, start at one, work your way up, okay? So back to the inputs we have current song input we're gonna start at song number one song back input is going to be current song input minus one it's a custom formula with current song input minus one okay and the song forward input is going to be a custom formula with the current song input plus one so we're actually just gonna take that current song number and add one and minus one for both of these so we know exactly which song number we're gonna be progressing to when we press the next and previous buttons. All right, that's it for the inputs. Current song, song back, song forward. And we hide it all with a rectangle over it. You can make that invisible if you want. 
now. Right here we drop in our audio player. All right, you're gonna wanna click this button and click make a list. All right, so you won't have these fields. These three fields will not be filled in just yet. But once you click make a list, you're gonna make that list a list of songs. All songs where order number, song order number, is equal to the current song input with a maximum number of items set to one. This is gonna just display the song that the, that is equal to what the current input value is equal to. We only want one because we don't want multiple songs in there. So now you would go back into your audio player. You would insert your URL, current songs MP3 file URL. You would insert the song name, so current songs name. And you would insert the artists if you want, I guess. If you have that one, so current song artists. Now autoplay is enabled. Continue playing on other screens. I suppose that's also enabled. Now when the song ends, we're gonna change the input value of this current song input to song forward input. So we always gonna, we're always gonna go to the next song after the song ends. You can have an artwork if you have the picture, a progress bar, and left and right buttons. Sorry, I got confused. Okay, so the left and right buttons. And then we have two actions for each of these. This is this uh, the next and previous buttons right here. So now what we want to do is we want to, if, so, if somebody clicks the left button, which is the previous song button, we want to change the input value of the current song input to the song back input. Now, you notice that this has conditions set. And let me, let me explain why. If we're on song number one, and there is no other song before that song, what we want to do is we want to loop it around to the maximum song number. Okay, so that means if it's at song number one, we have 19 songs. If they click the previous button, we're going to go from song number one all the way to song number 19. And likewise, if it's at song number 19, we want it to go to song number one once it reaches the end of the list. So what we do is we, sw we switch this current song input to the song back input if they click it, but only if the current song input is not equal to one. So that means if it's two, it will go down to one. If it's three, it'll go down to two. But if it's one, this action will not fire, and then it will fire this action. Current song input, 19. Now you could also just do this like this, right, where you could go uh, songs, order number, maximum. Now you always get the maximum number there if they click the previous button, if the current song input is equal to one. So if it's at song number one, it's gonna go to the maximum song number, which is 19. We're gonna do the same thing here for the next button, except instead of using the back input, we're gonna use the forward input. So current song input is equal to, will, will then be changed to song forward input, but only if the current song input is not equal to Let's, let's do this here. Oh, I guess 19. If, sorry, current songs order number is not equal to songs order number. So if it's not the maximum, it will move forward. If it is the maximum, so we're gonna do that again. Current songs order number is equal to songs order number maximum. We're gonna switch to one. And that's it. This list of songs here I have a scrollable list by No Code Monkey, so this actually just scrolls here in this spot. All songs or songs order number is not equal to the current song input. So this is going to display all of the songs that is not the song that's playing. So that way when somebody clicks on this song, we're going to switch the input value to the current song order number. Okay, so let me show you how it works. 
Alright, so we land here. Song number one. Lay it all down. It's playing. So it's, it takes a second to start just because it's a, it amps up in volume. All right, so let's test it. Song number two is Open Your Eyes. There it is. All right, so if I click this, Eyes on Eternity, it's going to switch there. And that's it. Real simple. Let me know if you have any questions. Feel free to reach out to us by visiting our website at www.templock.design.